Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor for us to be here to present to you some problems on uh, which we discussed about within in these exciting days concerning the topic of nutrition and drinking water. We focus our attention on three main subjects. Consuming habits in the Western world, scarcity in the developing countries and accessibility of water. Actually, there are now at least 300 million obese adults and 22 million overweight children under five years old in the world. So much water and food are wasted every day and we need an effective educational program. Paradoxically, there's a scarcity of, de of developing countries where there's not enough drinkable water or food. There are so many demographical and climate problems. Such as accessibility of water, nowadays the distribution system is inefficient. They need pipelines and investments. To let you know how hard is this, the situation is, every day 25,000 people die because of malnutrition and 6,000 people die due to the lack of water. That means that every 3.6 seconds a person dies because he has no food or no safe food or no water. Now I'm leaving the stage to Sonia, who will focus your on governmental institution, Claudia, who will explain to you the house of future, talking about innovation and research, and Patrick that will present to you a really original project about the importance of awareness of, of the problem. Thank you, Max. Um, I'm going to present you one possible solution, which is on the governmental level. Our lifestyle in Western countries is based on a huge consumption of water. The World Health Organization calculated that for everyday use, you need 25 liters per day to cover your cooking, cleaning, and drinking consumption. But statistics show that US inhabitants use from 300 to 700 liters per day Whereas in dry regions in Africa, for example, they just have 20 liters per day available. So to tackle the waste of water, uh, governments can implement a tax on water. So first, we need to calculate the needed amount just to cover your cooking, cleaning, and so on. Um, so as soon as you exceed the needed amount, you pay more. The water price is rising uh, progressively. So the more you need, the more you pay. With this gain from the tax, uh, the money can be used to, for example, invest in water projects in third world countries or to decrease, um, decrease taxes in other regions. And maybe you don't see the link between saving water here and saving lives in another country, but it's really important that we are role models for emerging countries because this world is growing closer and the people look at us how we live. So if we are a role model by saving water, we can affect in the long term the way of life in other countries. So innovation is not only about um, uh, innovative new products, it's, only, uh, it's also about how we live and how we build our houses. So we thought about a new project how to think and how to have a new house in the future. Here it's about the water distribution. You see here a water source, in this case it's a river. Then the water is taken into a filter plant. There the water is filtered and made um, uh, clean of dirt and microorganisms. It's not drinkable. This water then goes to a tank um, of your house and in this tank you will have to um, take out water to make it drinking water. You may do it with filtration or chemical 
stuff which has to be researched in. Then um, water which is used, uh, which comes from clouds, rain, is stored and this goes then to into the tank. The water is um, heated with solar panels and then we take the water to the shower, for example, because it ha hasn't to be drinking water. Then from the shower, it goes to the toilet flush. The same thing with washing machines as um, dishwashing or cloth washing machines. Sorry, yeah. I have to interrupt you because to come back to my statement from the beginning of our presentation, within the six and a half minutes, the whole audience in this room would have died for hunger. How devastating. So to come back, um, <laughs> we have the drinking water here and this would also be used um, for toilet flush if it's not used. I mean with toothbrushing, um, whatever, it goes then to the toilet flush. And this water then goes back to the filter plant with where it's cleaned and then back to the water source. The main thing here is that we use water twice and not only once. Also, the water goes into the garden and we thought about new things like having a water counter, which counts how much water you're using, or um, water savers on the, on, the thing, on the thing water comes out. <laughs> we now come to awareness. There the problem is, if people do not know a lot about this topic and of the problem and how big they are, they do not care. So I hope until now we could sh uh, increase your awareness with our pictures and our facts, but for us this is not enough. We think the only way to really increase the awareness of the people is to connect them personally with the problem in the, the developing world. But how can we do this? There we come up with a quite interesting approach. We said we connect every town and every village in the Western world with a town or village in the developing world. And then we promote this village in the developing world in our towns here and show them how they live there, what the problems are, that the people can imagine how they suffer and what the problem is. And so the people will much more care and it's way harder to look away and they will be willing to spend much more on these people. But it's not only about spending money because if you have money you have to use it usefully. So there we came up with the idea of making some exchange programs with for example, students like us going there, we are motivated, we want to change something. And there, or going to schools and tell them what's the problem that they from little get the problem and have this in mind that not everyone can live like we do. So, <clears throat> we are concluding. Within the last few days, actually, we discussed many aspects and possible solutions. These are just a few examples of our very widespread span. We have selected them because we consider them to be a good way to start. We also concern the need of enforcing an educational system, the first step that we have to manage, starting from kindergarten, introducing children to a healthy food in everyday life. Our main focus were the developing countries. We want to spread our knowledge, our technology, being a model. As you can see in our model, the pyramid, we are the ones who guide the governments, which on the other hand collaborate on an international level. Unfortunately, our time is already up. But if you would like to learn, more, to learn more about our ideas, you can read our paper on the internet. This is not a way to say you don't have to take a shower because you pollute, you would pollute uh, the water, but please be aware. Thank you.
Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.